So here we go, this is the baseboard framework attached. So what I've done is got some tantalised wood that my dad had kicking around. The bits that are on the insides are single screw, drilled and screwed. So there's four battens going across on each side, they offset slightly. And on the outside, count sunk, two screws, two screws, this is to stop the twist. And the same again. Now, if I just drop us down under there, you can see count sunk, single screw there. So it's one, two, three, four, and then so on and so forth. So everything is now all screwed down. I haven't actually screwed into these. I have screwed in these ones, but not the cross pieces. The cross pieces haven't been screwed. Yeah. The lengthwise pieces have. So yeah, so that's really um, about it. I could sand it down, but I don't need to. I will clean up the splintered bits, and then I'm gonna flip it over and start painting the top. So a quick bit of preparation before I start painting. I filled the top of the counter sink holes where the screw's gone and just flatten them off a bit. So now I'm all ready to start painting the first coat and we're going to go for grey because that's going to be my base colour for putting the track on with the overlay. The green paint and the um, foliage is going to go on at a later date. So. We'll start off with a nice all over coating of grey. So here we go, Wilco Colour Map Pure Grey Emulsion for Walls and Ceilings. So whatever's left, and that's what's left after doing my last layout, the big one upstairs, can be used presumably on the walls. Because as you've probably noticed multiple times, my walls are in need of paint. Now, it's not because, I, I've got to be honest with you, it's not because I'm skanky. Basically, I had a bit of a damp problem. So, I've uh, taken out and drilled and rotted walls to try and get rid of the rising damp. I've painted on the outside walls and I've stripped off some of the paint so that these walls can breathe. So, that's by the by. That's just so you don't think I'm skanky. Well, that's the first coat done and drying. So I reckon a couple hours with the heat on as it is at the moment, that'll be dried to a nice sort of matte grey. And then tomorrow we'll put a second coat on and then it should look fairly uniform. So we are on track. <laughs> the first lot of paint has dried, the grey, the grey base coat and uh, underside for the um, 